Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. We're continuing our playthrough of the NES classic, Crystallis, and we return you to the next episode, currently in progress. Awesomeness awaits. Alright, so, just to recap, we've been in the Goa Fortress, we've been through the first four parts of the fortress. The first part of the fortress had us go against the vampire again, for some reason. Uh, and then we had to go against the first of the finest four. I keep... yeah, sorry, I just needed to double check that it was the finest four, not the final four. Because I, I keep wanting to say final four, but no, that that's a thing the NBA, or not, not the NBA, the NCAA will be after me for, you know, trademark infringement or something. If I keep going, the spring final four. I, I feel like maybe if I put the, the pause in there, that, that will, yeah, anyway, sorry. Enough ragging on uh, college athletics. Let's uh, get into the game proper, shall we? All right. So we finished off the third of the final four. We're getting ready to make our way to the fourth. My conundrum becomes some... Oh, that's right. That's what I was going to do. I was going to pull over to this tab here and note that... Um, I can't pause if the game doesn't have focus. There we go. I, I was going to note that I'm tempted to do a little bit of grinding here because those black knights... They're worth 1,600 XP and 400 gold. And as you can see, I'm a little poor. I could use a little more gold. Although, I'm not entirely sure what I was going to spend it on because the... Where's my items? Yeah. The last shield I'm going to find as an item. Uh, the last two bits of armor I'm going to find as items. So, I mean, I guess the only other thing that I'm going to be, I'm going to be, uh, buying are, are, I don't know, uh, magic rings, fruits of power. I mean, I could use a couple of magic rings. I ain't gonna, I'm not going to lie. Something that restores all magic points. Although we're going to get, we're about to get an item that's going to help with that. The only question about that item is... Yeah, we'll, we'll we'll get to, we'll get to that when we get there. Let let me uh let, let's not get ahead of ourselves just yet, shall we? Let's uh let's make our way to the last of the the final four, um, the final four. I keep doing that. The finest four, and uh, man, oh yeah, and there there's a there's some some spiders and skeletons in here that are also worth a decent amount of XP. Like, the skeletons are worth 1280 XP. The spiders are worth 1280 XP. They're worth 200 gold each. Uh, the big problem is <laughs> you gotta be really careful with them because uh, they shoot some goo that drains your magic. And they also hit with a poison attack. So, unless you're a fan of watching your magic points disappear and or getting poisoned, um, they, they, oh, I should probably also switch over to the Thunder Shield. There's still some people floating around casting Paralysis, so as much as I love the defense bonus of a Battle Shield, I really need the not getting paralyzed of a Sacred Shield. Uh, there are some people that do cast Petrify too, so I got to keep an eye out for them, and, and yeah, because I, I don't want to keep having to switch back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. <sighs> yeah, Ooh. and I kind of wish I'd run across a couple more fruits of Repun. You'll, you'll see why when we get there. All of those opal statues are gonna be nice. Um. Do I need a better shield boost or armor boost? Uh, most of the people that are hitting us are probably going to be touching. So we'll go with the iron necklace. We'll keep refresh on. Okay. 
Now I'm ready. Let's charge up. <sighs> yeah, those guys. I I wish I could remember how to make them visible though. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. No touchy, no touchy. Bad touch. Ah! Uh, that's a lot of hit points. All from a freaking invisible dot on the floor. Uh, yeah, this is, this is, oh, hi. You could go away now. Go, go, no, 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 don't push me into the other guy. Yikes. Mm-hmm. Mm, that hurt. I might not have any magic points for these guys to take. Oh yeah, uh, they do that until you finally finish them off. Oh, seriously, I got slimed again. Wait, did I misread the map? Uh, oh, okay, yeah, no, I, come on, I'm on track, I'm on track, just dodge and weave, bob and weave, bob and weave. Ow! Oh, that's right, those guys are immune to that. Uh, let's go. This is what I get for trying to look at my GPS while driving, so to speak. Alright, that goes up that way. Uh, that takes me... Yeah. Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, and I ain't touching those guys. Oh, that's right. I need to put on the rabbit boots. Oh, oh, come on, man. What did I do to deserve this? This is not a good start, mind you. All right, magic ring. That's going to come in handy. That's going to come in a lot handy. Yeah, come on, come on, come on, come on. Die. I'll take the money. War boots. That's actually not helpful. Uh, oh, I need to go up here first. Okay. And talk to this guy. Hey, it's me. I was stupid and was hit by Carmine. In order to recover, I need the ivory statue. It's in a room downstairs. Use the hole over there. Basically, he's telling me to jump through the hole in the floor. Uh, no, I'll, I'll keep using the rabbit boots. Um, about to kill a lot more of my magic before we get to this guy. I don't, I don't even know that I want to waste a save state on uh, this sad attempt to get there. Alright, let me first do that and that, get myself back up to health. Hello, Pink Geek! How you doing today? And I'm going to need Barrier. Because we get these guys. So... This is the game's way of softening you up a little bit before you hit the fourth of the finest four. And ostensibly the strongest. Like, this is rated a difficult battle. You know, like the one that I burnt two magic rings on. Even though I only have one. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I might, I might keep the barrier handy. Because this guy, this guy shoots out two different attacks. Um, the first one he shoots out uh, is a fireball that does fire damage. Well, it doesn't just do fire damage, but it, it's a fireball, so... Uh, so I should probably put my better shield on. Because he's not going to paralyze me. He's not going to 
petrify me, but he can curse me. And that curse means uh, that, that I turn into a little critter for a period of time and I can't not, I can't, I can't undo it without a fruit of repun, you know, that thing that I only have one of. Uh, on the other hand, I do have these two. Yes, he does have poly. No, he has baleful polymorph because I sure did not sign up for this. I do not consent to be polymorphed. <laughs> uh, at least it's not a sheep. All, all the WoW fans are grinning. All right. Coffee, stretch. Me and my 34 magic points. Although it, I do have these two opal statues, which will be nice. Um, Fortunately, we've not had to use any of them, but what the opal statue does is if you have it active, when you die, it replenishes all your hit points. So instead of immediately burning the magic ring to up the my magic, I might use barrier until it's out and then just stick with the opal statue. All right. There we go. Let's see if I can get off a shot the second it says go. Welcome, an engineer. I am Carmine Dragonia's finest. You must be tired. So rest forever in darkness. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> oh, 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 shoot. His fireballs. They bounce. That's not fair. Ah. Oh, crikey. Ah! Uh, that's not a good sign. You know what I wish? Uh... Oop. Oop. Okay, let's, uh, you know what? I noticed! Okay, okay, okay. Breathe. We, we, got, we got this, we got this. Ah! Oh! Oh, I got him. Oh. And I now have an ivory statue, which is great. Let's, uh... Um... Yeah. <laughs> this game came out in 1990. The... The game I am playing is... A few years older than you are. Pinky. Thank you for reminding me about that. I'm now going to find a way to hide the grays in my beard when I get a better mic. Yay, we got the storm bracelet. <laughs> All right, you're now using a storm bracelet. All right. We've completed our set of elemental swords. Hey, Beast Lord. How's it going? We just got started. And uh, just finished the last of the fine uh, of the uh, finest four. I keep saying final four. I, I don't know why. Well, it must be the season we're in. <laughs> and uh, we we just oh yeah, food and coffee. Must get some coffee. So I just picked up the uh, the I just picked up the bra the storm bracelet, which now gives me. The four elemental swords and the four elemental bracelets. Um, I'm about to go get the last spell, and uh, and then go from there. I am happy that those guys are turned off now. 
Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Fine. You know what? Oh, no, that's a laser splint. Okay. What is this normal which you speak? <laughs> yeah, I found out later that I could have actually gotten the leather boots uh, with a little couple of creative sneaky sneaky. Um, and that would have obviated the need for, uh, for the rabbit boot shenanigans that I've been doing against the spiky floor, but oh well. Oh, that's right. I need to equip the ivory statue. Yeah. Um, I've got the ivory statue. Do I need to unequip that? There he is. Okay. Let me go put that, uh, emergency life back on. Ivory statue is given to Kensu. What a relief. Here, I'll cure your wounds. The Emperor and Mezia left for the pyramid. Mezia has the power to call the tower, but don't give it to Dragon. I'll teach you flight to aid you. Now take the shortcut through the back. <laughs> you now have flight as you're about to fly through the back. Can I save the game? No, not yet. Okay. What I can do is I can go to the emulator and go file, save state, save. <laughs> uh, there are days that I truly wish that was a thing. I truly, truly wish that was. <laughs> Thank you, Pinky. Every now and again, I keep saying that I'm going to start a recording series where I narrate public domain books, but I never quite get around to actually making that happen. All right, so I could do the rabbit boot shenanigans and carefully uh, jump through all that hazardous stuff, or I could use my handy new flight ability, which, except for the part where it costs two magic points per second, uh, I kind of like. I'm about to use it a little bit more before we get through with this, so uh, I'm going to need this. No, I don't want to drop it. Uh, there we go. I'm going to need this sort of water here for a minute. Over here, we got a fruit of power. The only way to cross that river is with flight. But technically, you can get to this other side uh, from a different place, which is... That's the part that I kind of missed. And if I had been thinking, I would have been able to do that uh, earlier. <laughs> I'm narrating an ASMR channel. No, no, I don't think so. Um, if I'd been thinking, I would have been able to get the leather boots sooner, which would have made a lot of this much easier. If I remember right, there are no bad guys in here, but there's a lot of that sort of stuff where you can make bridges. And, oh, no, 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 there, there are bad guys. There are bad guys. I don't even want to know. Oh, that's probably paralysis. You know what? Since you're required to make uh, level two blasts, and they never seem to make these guys do anything but paralysis. Oh. Come on, guys. Get him! Uh, some of Mark Twain is. That's under the area where it gets really, really complicated. Oh. <laughs> I don't have refresh on right now. There we go. Ah. What? Anytime. There we go. Oh, there's. Are you kidding me? Go away! Go, go away! Go away! I'll get all rest with the bug spray on you. There we go. There's the leather boots that I could have gotten earlier. Um, where the rabbit boots let you jump. And since you're not technically touching the poison area, if you jump fast enough, you can get through uh, poisonous and hazardous terrain without taking damage. 
the leather boots just protect you outright. So you can wear the leather boots and walk through poison and not take damage. Uh, that that would have been uh, preferable to a lot of the things that happened earlier. So, let's finish making our way through this. Um, I gotta remember... Which, which way? Which way? It's a maze. Oh. I hate flying things in this game. I hate them. I hate them. I hate them almost as much as Reyes hates flying things IRL. Alright, that is most definitely paralysis stuff, so it's a good thing we got this shield. Now that we got flight, we can go get, uh... Uh, yeah, the Epic Gilgamesh, uh, is public domain. Um... Basically, anything that you can find on Project Gutenberg would be a candidate. Um, oh, guys, stop flying at me. I'm trying to check the map. Uh, I think a modest proposal is. About 90% sure on that one. I don't remember when the cutoff date is. I want to say it's like 1924? Or 1928, somewhere around there. With uh, uh, fire is unanswered for bugs, but you know what? Now that I think about it, are these guys immune to fire? Because uh, if we're talking about Go Fortress, Go Valley, Cave of Sticks, Mount Hydra, Mount Hydra Caves, um, where are they at? Ah, they're only immune to wind. But the Sword of Water is more powerful than the Sword of Fire, so... Uh, as much as I, I, I like the thematic appeal of fire, uh, it is not, in fact, the answer for this one. Not unless you want them dead or quicker. I would like to have them dead or quicker. Oh, um... Uh, I would also like to have uh, the map that I can hardly read up. Um, I'm going the wrong way again. Oh. I can't at least... Oh, no, I can't save it. Fine. Ah! <laughs> I'm the one dying a slow death, apparently. Ah! Eventually. Alright. Um. Okay, so I need to cross here. And then... Back... Seriously. You're killing me, Smalls. I mean, literally killing me. Alright. I needed to come in here. Oh, 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 oh. You, you shoot stuff at me. Um. Not for long. There we go. This is the power ring, and if I remember right, the power ring... No, shield. Power ring is... What was the power ring? Is that, I, there's a ring that I'm thinking of that I really like, and it is... The, oh, the warrior ring is the one that I like. The warrior ring is the one that uh, enables level 1 sword attacks without having to charge them. The power ring doubles the hero's attack power. Oh, and fun fact, you must have the power ring equipped in order to damage Emperor Dragon. So when you get into the final fight, you have to have that item, and you have to have it equipped. Uh, 
There is no other option. Period. Full stop. <laughs> All right. And before I'm done here, I need... You know what? Here's my flight. I'm about to take the easy way out of this. Um, battle armor, powering, leather boots. Yeah, okay. There we go. That is the second best armor. So we went from ceramic armor to battle armor. The ceramic suit is a... Oh. Oh no, it's not the second best. Well, okay, it depends on how you look at it. The ceramic suit is a plus 24 defense bonus. The battle armor is a plus 20 melee defense bonus. But the battle armor guards against poison attacks. So as long as we got the battle armor, we cannot be poisoned. Um, but as many times as I've been poisoned, I'll take that. All right, you know what? We were given an extra set of warp boots in that last one, so I am going to say, Mr. Wizard, get me out of here. I'll put on the defense. So I've got the iron necklace and the battle armor, which definitely helps my, uh, where do I need to go? I need to go. all about. Alright, I need to go to Goa. Because we got some business to do there. If I can hit the right button. There we go. There's only two buttons, and for the life of me, I can never seem to hit the right one. Yikes. Alright, they're going to charge me some outrageous price. And I'm... Oh, crikey. I should have gone back to Leaf for these prices. go I'm put the battle shield on for now. You guys got a pawn shop, don't you? What do you sell? Let's assume I wanted to buy medical herb, antidote, lances plant, or boots. Never mind. That's nothing that I need right this minute. Uh, no, you don't have a pawn shop. I can't believe you. Okay. I need to go get change because if you remember uh, where's my notes where's my notes uh, the merchant who's been giving us all sorts of fun stuff along the way this guy he said that he left an item with a friend in Goa so we should be able to go yo you look good I'll return that item you loaned me you now have the warrior ring And that's the one. That's the one that I like because you can do the level one attack without charging. It's beautiful. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to save this game. And I, I'm even going to go file, save state, save state. There we go. And uh, we're, we're going to take a short break. Well, that was fun. Unless I died. Then it was a little less fun. I hope you enjoyed the series so far. The next episode should roll out tomorrow, unless tomorrow's a live stream day. 
The current schedule is over on my Twitch profile. There's a link in the description below. If you haven't already, do follow in Twitch. That way you'll get notified when I go live, allowing you to chat along as we record the next six episodes. Or chat along with whatever else I got going on. I do a variety of things, just like here. Speaking of here, if you're not already, please do subscribe to the channel. It really helps out. Click the bell and you'll no get notified of all the new content produced from future Games Revisited episodes to CoffeeCraft livestream archives, instrument repair, upgrades and construction, and uh, anything else that strikes my fancy. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and if you have any questions, quips, queries, quandaries, quotes, complaints, comments, or quibbles, just uh, leave those in the comments below. Have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.